Uh, what I'm going to help you out is to find out your CPU temperature on Windows. It's basically working on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. Even, even also it works in Windows 11. So let me show you what's my biggest problem right now. So if I have open task manager, and then I look at my CPU, yeah, I got the information uh, that the type of my CPU, the speed clock speed of my CPU, uh, the cores, uh, yeah, and etc. But I don't get any temperature of my CPU, which I don't know if this is uh, overheating or not. So right now I'm gonna show you how to find out uh, what is our C my CPU temperature and your CPU temperature for your computer, so you can see if your CPU is overheated or not. So the first thing you you can Google Google.com and you get. You can use like CPU temp. Okay, when we search CPU temp, we look at the there's two application that you can use, uh, HW monitor and core temp. But for this specific uh, reason, what I'm looking only for a CPU temperature, I only look for core temp. So I try to use core temp, then I click download it. Okay, it's gonna download it. Then I'm open it up. Just click yes. So the setup can run. Click yes, yes, I agree, I agree. And this don't check this thing out. Don't check. This thing are just uh, ads. So we're just gonna create a create a disturb circuit that we check. Okay, install. Okay. This is just uh, update version. It's fine now just uncheck the view readme and then launch core temp will be checked up so right now voila now i can see okay so here what i can see is my model of uh, cpu which is the same as from the task manager i got the frequency it's the same i got now i got more information about the voltage of the cpu right now and uh nanometer that in May, the TDP and current power, even current power that's been running and now we have four core, right? This uh, temperature for each core. So we can see our minimum temperature, maximum temperature, load, current load per core. Now if this is four core, but if this display info is like a single core, per core load. So we can see a lot of more information here. Uh, so right now I can see that my CPU is not overheating, it's still on 50 degree range, which is, uh, yeah, that's good. I would, I would not see like 80 degree or 90 degree, so hope my, this video helped you out. Thank you, bye-bye.